Now in the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 25, let's read this together, go. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then on the one hand, I myself with my mind am serving the law of God, but on the other, with my flesh, the law of sin. So ano pong dapat natin gawin? Una is to confess your struggles to God. If you are constantly struggling, you feel that tension within you, the battle within you. In other words, God is just simply reminding us, you cannot win that war on your own. What kang mag-pretend. You know why? Because it's our nature to pretend. Pag kinakamusta ka, kamusta ka, anong sagot natin? Okay lang. Uy, kamusta ka na? Okay lang. Kung alam mo lang ang pinagtataanan ko, iniwala ko lang ang sawa ko. Ang galing natin sumagot ng okay lang. Oh, kamusta ka? Kamusta ka pare? Naka-church ka pa? Oo, ayos naman ako pare. Okay naman tayo, nagbabible naman tayo. Kung alam mo lang pare, ang addiction ko sa porn ngayon. Hindi ho yun ang sinasabi sa atin. Magpakatotoo ka. If you're struggling and you cannot win the, what, the battle on your own, and definitely you cannot win the battle on your own, ang sinasabi po sa atin, confess your struggles to God. That's why in the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 18, For I know that the good does not dwell in me, that is in my flesh. Yung ginagawa po ni Apostle Paul is an act of humility before God, confessing and telling God, Lord, on my own, hindi ko po ito kaya. And the very reason why sinasabi ko ito at dinedeclare ko na kaya ko ito kung ikaw ang kasama ko sa laban na ito. Right? It's simply confessing and humbling ourselves before God. It's the difference between suppress and surrender. And oftentimes, the very reason why we are always defeated because we continuously and constantly suppress the struggles. 